Hello learners, this is me again, Sir J, to discuss with you all about the rational algebraic expression. At the end of this video, you are expected to identify whether the expression is a rational algebraic expression or not. And also, given a particular value, you're expected to evaluate the rational algebraic expression. So this time, I will give you a checklist in identifying whether the expression is a rational algebraic expression or not. So first we have, it must be in a fraction form. So fraction form must have numerator and denominator. Then, must not have a negative exponent a radical sign, or a fraction exponent in the variables. We will say variables, those are the letters. Any letters from A to Z can be variables. Example, X, Y, the most common variable is X and Y. So the variable must not have a negative exponent and a fraction exponent. Also, it should not have a radical sign. When you say radical sign, this one, this is a radical sign, okay? Next, must have in its numerator and denominator a constant. When we say constant, it is simply a mere number without variable, without x, y, or any letters in the alphabet. Then, it also have a variable or a combination of a combination of both, a constant and a variable that are polynomial expression. For our example, we have to identify if the given expressions are rational algebraic expressions or not. We have number one, one minus x over x to the sixth power. In this expression, there is no negative exponent. There is no fraction exponent and we cannot see radical sign so therefore this is an example of rational algebraic expression in number two we have the square root of 11 times y over y minus 4 is this rational or not so let's evaluate the exponent of our variables we have y1 and also in the denominator, we also have 1, we have radical sign, but our radical sign is in the number, in the numerical coefficient. As what I have said a while ago, the radical sign must not be in the variables. So therefore, still this is, um, it is not a sign that this expression is not a rational number. Then we don't have fraction exponent. So therefore still this is rational algebraic expression. However, if the case is this one, uh, square root of 11y, if 11y is under the radical sign over y minus 4, if you can compare, the radical sign is in 11, but in here, it's in 11y. So in this case, this is not a rational algebraic expression. Okay? Number 3. It's very clear. In number 3, we have a fraction, a fraction exponent. So that's what I have said a while ago must not have a fraction exponent so therefore this is not this is not a rational algebraic expression in number four as you can see we have in the denominator we have negative two negative two in the exponent again it must not have a negative exponent so therefore in number four it is not a rational algebraic expression. Do you have a question? Did you understand? In our next activity, 
we are going to evaluate the following rational algebraic expressions. So we have number 1, 5x over 3x minus 9, in which our x is equal to 5. So we are going to substitute the value of x, which is 5, to the given expression. We have, copy first, the given 5x over 3x minus 9. Again, our x is 5. So we have 5 times 5. Our x will be substituted by 5. Then 3 times x, which is 5, minus 9. Did you follow? Okay. Next, we have 5 times 5. That is 25. And then 3 times 5. That is 15. Copy minus 9. We have 25 over 15 minus 9. That is 6. So we have 25 over 6. Can you reduce this one to lowest form? Can you simplify? 25 over 6? Very good. 25 over 6 cannot be simplified. So therefore, this is our answer. This is the value of 5x over 3x minus 9 when our x is 5. For our next example, we have y squared plus 4y plus 1 all over y squared minus 1. Our y here is negative 3. So let us substitute. Let's copy the given y squared plus 4y plus 1 over y squared minus 1. We will substitute the value of y, which is negative 3, into the given expression. So y we have negative 3 squared plus 4y oh, times y, our y is negative 3 plus 1 all over y squared. So y is negative 3 squared minus 1. Did you follow? And you simply substitute the value of y. So we have negative 3 times negative 3, that is 9. Negative times negative is positive. Then we have positive 4 times negative 3, that is negative. That is negative 12 plus 1 over negative again, negative times negative, that is positive, so therefore it is positive 9 minus 1. Now, I'll recall pandas. So, we will first add before we can subtract. Let's add negative 12 plus 1. So that is, so simply copy 9, that is negative 11 over 9 minus 1 is 8. Now, 9 minus 11. So we have negative 2 over 8. Can we simplify negative 2 over 8? Yes, we can. So let's divide the numerator and denominator by 2. Therefore, we have negative 1 over 4. This is our answer. The value of y squared plus 4y plus 1 over y squared minus 1. If our y is negative 3, we have 
negative one for question. I will be glad if you have questions. If you have, just comment below and I will answer it in my next video. Thank you for watching.